Brandon, uh, do you have a question for the class prepared now? I do have a question, and I'm going to try to not make it confrontational. <laughs> Good luck. Come at me. It's for Christine specifically. We'll start with just the base question of why is getting the car loser free? Because it doesn't feel like it should be free. It feels like you should have to pay for it. And how can I charge somebody for an RPG when your game is free? The reason why it's free is because the last time I made a free game was 10 years ago. It was called Digital Love Story. It's not very good. I don't want anyone who's like, what are Christine's games about? To go, I'm going to check out the free one. Go back to this thing from 10 years ago and be like, oh, well, obviously I don't give a shit about what she does. Hence, new free game, get in the car, uh, loser. But it's so it's such a real game. It's not a visual novel. It is not a visual novel. And I'm hoping that people will love this so much that they then immediately go and buy the DLC, which is actually, you know, like funding the actual like cost of development. That's my hope. Is this going to work? I don't know. Toby Fox just released uh, Delta Rune Chapter 2 and is clearly, you know, doing something along those lines where it's like big release and like that's also free. And I'm hoping, you know, people realize that like you do have to pay for something in order to like actually like support the development of these games. That's what's challenging for me. Like Delta Rune, you know, Toby Fox is, is, is basically rich at this point. <laughs> he can release the thing for free because he doesn't need the money. But I find it challenging when a game that is as fully featured as yours comes out for free when we do need to sell video games still to live but i think it's an interesting experiment that you're trying with the with the dlc but i i'm very cynical about the prospects of that myself i feel like people love free and once it's free they're done with that but i guess we'll see how that works out for you I definitely wouldn't want to have done it, you know, without here's what the actual price of the game would be if I wasn't doing this wild experiment. Please, like, spend this money right here. Not not to get, like, too much into the shop talk, but, like, it's really hard to get, like, games noticed at this point. Like, oh, right sure. now, you're, yeah. like, competing with so much stuff on Steam. There's no guarantee that anything's going to, you know, get noticed. My fans are incredible, and I love their support. But I need to reach more. Otherwise, this isn't sustainable. I have so many thoughts about this. You got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the need to get it out in front of as many people as possible. You know, right now, the, the only ways to really guarantee money for a game is like get into one of the platform subscriptions at this point. Like otherwise, you, there's no money guarantee. There's no visibility guarantee. And so that would be another factor for me if I were thinking about releasing a free game would be that once it's free, I can't get Microsoft or Sony to give me money to put it into their service i don't have game pass because like I, I i'd just rather you know pay like full price for everything I, I i'm happy to support that but like man there's so much stuff on game pass yeah there there's this like constantly new interesting indie stuff that's like perceived as free for like a huge number of people it's like that's what you're up against already right it feels like there's been this race to free for a long time. I worry about the expectation of full featured games being free on the part of consumers. And, you know, you can't turn back time and stop that. But I think it's a really valid worry, especially like when you look at, you know, like what happened to mobile, right? Like yeah. now there's no such thing as a premium game on mobile at all. It's just like gotcha hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am terrified that could happen to everywhere else. Yeah. Did you consider like, doom style putting part of the game free and then paying to unlock the rest of it bring back like like the shareware model yeah shareware model i don't know part of like what made that model really work was that like the first episode of those was always just like it felt like a full game people just like stopped after the end of doom shareware episode one we're like i'm satisfied and yeah. i'm hoping that i'm hitting the same thing where like people play like the full game and are like oh i'm satisfied but then some of them are like but I could go for more. I'd love to see where it goes from there. Man, the whole idea of everything makes me nervous right now <laughs> of selling a video game. Put that on a t-shirt. It's really, oh God. T-shirt or like one of those jackets they have for small dogs. Like I'm frightened and nervous. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>